Morning guys, welcome to the channel, OGA Outdoors. I'm out here early on a Saturday trying to beat the heat. Humidity's outrageous, everything you touch is just soaking wet. But I gotta get the hickory I bought in my last video. They get, it's on my trailer, I'm gonna need the trailer. I gotta get that split, sorted out. There's some sweet gum on there. I'm hoping it's not much. We got to it at the end, so it's mainly on the top. So hopefully that'll go fast. I just wanted to take a minute and show you this tree limb here. I was just outside working the other day, doing some things. No tree limb was here. I went in the house for about 30 minutes. I look out and here it is. I mean, this thing is like four inches at the base. I mean, I didn't know this dead limb was up in this elm tree. If I'm out here cutting my grass, I mean, let's just say I'm having a bad day if this thing falls on me. Probably I'm gonna be dead. So this is kind of what I'm doing. This is the process I've come up with for now. The hickory that's small enough for the smoker customers, I think they'll be happy with. I'm gonna go ahead and put throw it in the wheelbarrow. We'll stack it. The stuff that needs to be split down is too big. I mean, that's that's a pretty big stick of wood there for a smoker guy. I may even make three out of that. Then the sweet gum is going in the ranger. I'll go to another location and stack it. I got some of the sweet gum. I don't. I don't sell anything st still in rounds. I sell everything split. I think it just looks better. But I'll split these, sort them as I go, and that's the best solution I've got for now.
So y'all saw me when I left out with my first load of sweet gum? Yeah, my first load. I'm afraid there may be another one. May have gotten a little more than I thought I did, but it's, it's just part of it. I mean, I got no feelings, hard feelings against the guy I bought it from. He, he didn't he didn't throw it in on purpose and trying to trick me or nothing he was he learned a lesson I can I can still sell it and make money this whole stack here is sweet gum and and some elm it'll go to my you know my good heating customers they'll they like it I burn the stuff there's nothing wrong it burns hot me sorting the wood out there like that, you know, you may think, why do you keep splitting it down smaller? But I think it just creates value for the customer because they, I have so many that their eyes just light up when they see these smaller splits. And they even request it because, you know, if you're smoking, cooking with it, you know, a lot of people, they don't have the, they're not cooking for a, you know, commercial industry or whatever, you know, they're not wanting huge sticks. just split it a little smaller and works out good for them and it's a little more work for me but I don't mind it to tell you the truth it's good to be splitting a little wood today I hadn't split any firewood in a long time like right there that's a piece of hickory you can just it's it's so much heavier that's one way you can tell it's heavier and it, it splits smoother When any of it starts to go a little punky, like that piece is trying to go a little bad, it's got a little, because a lot of the sweet gum looks that way anyway. But the hickory's definitely heavier. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this up. I don't know if I'm gonna get back out there in the hot sun. I do have a breeze starting to pick up, but it's, it's cost me 92 today. I've still gotta get rid of that tree limb I showed you at the beginning so that's probably gonna be my next order of business I may get another load of the another piece of hickory I may try to sort out one more load of sweet gum time will tell but y'all know what to do if you like my videos go ahead and thumbs up subscribe all that good stuff and we'll get all this stacked and put away and I'll catch you on the next video thanks for watching